Hello and welcome back to the Intellect series, the sky has returned to normal. For people who haven't watched the other episodes of this, they're very confused. Anyway, so in the last episode we got our chemistry station the Crucible, we are pretty well equipped. The next things on my priority list to do are going to be getting vehicles finished, not because I need a gyrocopter, but because I would really like to get that out of the way so that I can respec my skills and become even more OP than I already am. Uh, the best way to get books I have found in my multiple series of Alpha 21 is genuinely just going to random houses and looting all their bookcases. It's kind of brainless, it's not very enjoyable, and this series is about making things work really, really well to show how good intellect is at doing that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head out to that job I took, the mortician's house, which I know has a bunch of books. I'm going to double loot it because I know it has a few book containers and tier 4 loot. And I'm not on any rush to get the tier 4 complete or the tier 5 complete because my gear, even just padded armor and sun baton, because of the way the intellect build is, it doesn't matter, it's good enough. So we don't have to rush the end game guns and weapons because the sun baton does everything. So double looting this for the books so I can get the grease monkey out of the way and then with the grease monkey out of the way I can respect my skills to be even more powerful. So that seems like a good idea. I'm gonna clear this out really quickly. And before I start going in here and it becomes harder for me to edit, um, I'm gonna try and find the desert today as well because I need to mine up some damn oil shields so that that motorcycle stops being such a drain on my time. So let's head in here, do our first run through. Tech planet, nice. I'm very close to finishing those off as well. But those are just going to take themselves out the loot table anyway, so I don't have to worry too much. And some brass. Two vehicle adventures. Oh yeah, with Forge Ahead out the loot table. I mean, there's basically only two things I'm boosting at this stage, right? My tech planet and my grease monkey? Yeah, that means most containers I loot have that have books have the books I want because of the way the loot tables seem to work for it, which, you know, is the point of the series to show that home cooking. Nope. Oh, bloody office chair. Oh, just two in there today. Okay. So since a bunch of people were complaining that I never got the hidden stash out of this house, we'll do it now. I know it's here, I just, I really don't bother with hidden stashes very often. But it is hidden behind this wall here. There's a vehicle adventures. Oh, tech planet. Vehicles, scrapping, medical journal. Cool. Let's head into the basement here. Oh, head pop. Another acid, another testosterone, and another oil. I can definitely make another chemistry station now if I want one. I don't think I need another one yet. I only really need that for when I start making gunpowder. And this isn't that. This PLI is great for bones. Um, let's see. Hello, ferals. Take a quick first aid bandage. I've been making loads of them out of this PY because there's loads of medical containers with aloe in it. So, I look forward to use some medical stuff here. Really should consider getting some better armor soon though. Pick that up. I think it's out of ammo now. But, you know, we can get some more. It's just lead. I just don't have any mining ability because this is uh, pure intellect build right now. It will diverge into other things eventually. 100 and. There we go, 150 bones, and I wasn't even really paying that much attention to gathering them. Scrapping. Let's try my lockpicks on this. I do have three points in lockpicking, so you would hope the lockpicks could do this. There we go. Another vehicle adventures, and some useful things of various origin. Alright, let's head out to the motorcycle and reset the POI. How many books did I get out of this place then? This time, it was... at uh, five. So if I can get three more the next time, which... Statistically, I should. I should be done with vehicles by the end of the day. Right, let's go ahead and reset the POI then. Something died here. Did I kill it? I don't think I killed anything here. Oh good, I can put my iron breaker on this. Take off my damn machete. Alright, let's reset it. And get into some fights. Oh hey.
Tech Planet. And a useful mod for my bow. Oh, I already have it. I'll just scrap it for some polymers then. Got some arrows as well. I've not been carrying any, but if I need to do some stealth attacks, I can now. Tech Planet Wiring Knife Guy. Medical Handy Land Tech Planet. Up to 95 on Tech Planet. I've already got everything I need out of Tech Planet though, because I am not building a drone. It'll just bug out and kill me. So I will be fine without it. That was weird. There was only one zombie in that room. I rarely see that. Oh, a Mega Crush in a random food pile. Another really rare thing. There's the satchel. Of course, I better grab this again. Uh, pick that up, I guess. Can I just... No, you can't just do that. Why does there have to be a block that has 500 health? What's the point of making it like a one-hit wall if you still have to do this? How annoying. Tech planet and a bunch of money, which I'll scrap into paper. Then I can use it for shotgun shells later. Oh, a cigar and a desk. Well, that's the second time that's happened to me in Alpha 21 now, and I'm kind of sad to see how common they are. I have one already, but I'll take it and sell it, I guess? Come on, zombies. You're nightmare speed, but I don't really care. This kind of answers how the stun baton would do on Insane Nightmare as well. It would absolutely shred. It doesn't care. Still have to be careful. Insane Nightmare is a very easy difficulty mode to end up dead on. But, you know. Don't have to try that hard. Another acid. Sure, now I get one from a sink. It only took like the hundredth sink I had looted for it to actually spawn in one. Now you may be a problem on Nightmare Speed. Let's see. No. Nope. I don't think he's going to be a problem. Level 28. What I put this into doesn't matter too much because I'm very close to respecking anyway, but let's go for... I mean, let's head in here. Turn my helmet light off, actually. Oh, that's a feral. Okay. Come and fight me. Somehow still sneaking. <laughs> Stealth 100. Right. Um. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, of course. Right, it's just whoever's back there in the cop now, so I'll try my... Oh, it's a feral cop as well. Run away! dead. Hello. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I have a bunch of attention from outside now, but I'll deal with them in a moment. There we go. Let's get the loot out of here then. Right, so I made a more conscious effort for bones there and I got 224, which is pretty good. That's a lot of glues worth. Scrapping, a handy land, some gas, and a bunch of that stuff. Let's try and unlock the hardened chest. Scrapping, uh, get hammered, a pocket mod I can't actually use because all my slots are filled with another type of pocket mod, and some lockpicks. Hi there. That's fine. That is the nature of the RNG mechanic here. It's the nature of this very RNG heavy mechanic. Right, I'm gonna take my stuff back to my base and sort out all the inventory here because I did loot a lot of stuff there. I was a lot more thorough than I usually am. Let's see, Forge, how are you doing? I'm getting ahead and using my Crucible early on. So that when I need steel, I should have a good chunk of it. If you're going to go through the effort of getting a crucible on day 10, you should really use it. So, that's what's going on there. Have some more clay for the forge as well, and some more iron. Let's see, how much steel do you need to make a gyrocopter? You need 187 plus... that's it. 
maybe I should look into seeing if I could make a gyrocopter soon. So let's see. Mechanical parts, a couple of steel, some glue, which can be turned into duct tape. Uh, one leather. There's probably more, though. Let's, oh, yeah, I have loads of leather. I'm good. Uh, springs? How many do you need? Oh, wait, do you need springs at all for this? You need six springs. Uh, what else? Oh, more glue. Hang on. Saw it there. Uh, we can duct tape that. Uh, 30 electrical parts. There's that. So just duct tape and steel for the chassis. Uh, let's see. So I've got enough glue to make 20 duct tape. Trader Wreck could well be selling way more than that already, though. I can't remember if I bought all of his duct tape. There's two duct tape. And there's some murky water. I've probably got some cooked water here, don't I? Yeah. So between that, I could make... What's that? Nine... 16 more glue out of crafting, which would be enough to make the chassis, but do you need some for the accessories as well? Probably, right? No, you don't. Okay. You need headlights, and you need pipes, of course. Got plenty of those. And you need... That's it for the accessories. If I had the books, I could just go and make that right now. Okay, so what I need is glue. Or, well, duct tape, actually, but same thing. Let me see, where did I put all those bones? Ah, there they were. Need to sort my inventory, but it's fine right now. So I've got 400 bones, which is enough to pretty comfortably make a lot of glue. I just need the water to cook up. I still don't have a dew collector. It's just not been on my mind. Uh, but it wouldn't really help me immediately anyway. But, uh, let's see, 8 there, 8. So there's 16 more. Yeah, I will have enough glue. It's just a matter of waiting for that to cook. But I need to find the... Um, the last three magazines anyway, so there's no real issues waiting there. Put all the extra components in there, and I've got a spare level one car battery back at the base so I can sell that stuff. Let me go ahead and just drive around and look for a couple of POIs I've not looted that might have some bookshelves in it, and see if I can get the last three ranks of vehicle adventures. Uh, let's see, another level 5 pipe machine gun, a tech planet, and a couple of useful things. Not bad. Bailing cabinet, vehicles, shotguns. Cool. Oh, hi there. Vehicle adventure, scrapping, and tech planet. Need one more vehicle adventures. Ah, tech planet. One more tech planet as well. Then I will not be boosting any skills at that point, which is really cool. That's when you know it's time to respec a little bit. Oh, hello, Feral. Oh, hello, another Feral I'm locked in a room with. Love that for me. Medical journal. Electrical traps. And Tech Planet. That's Tech Planet done. We should see considerably less of those. Head out here. There's usually a dog. It is. Tools Digest. I do need a few more of those because I want to make some iron tools so I can actually mine. But, um, they're at level 4 right now and that would annoy the hell out of me. So I'm just going to hold off. Okay. Vehicles. There we go, we can make a gyrocopter. Just need the steel then. I'll finish this POI while I'm here. Medical journal. Yep, yeah, that's going to be the overwhelming thing in the loot table because it is actually being boosted now. I'm going to find so many of those. Did it drop stuff behind me? Thought so. Ow. Alright, I think I'm done here. We completed two skill trees in here. And we made a damn good start on finishing up medical as well. Alright, let me head back to Trader Wrecked and hand in this job to him, and then I'll see what we can do in terms of steel and glue and stuff. Might want to do a bit of a dual scrapping and forging at the same time situation where I drive around, scrap cars to get gas, and scrap those streetlights for steel while my crucible produces like the other half of the steel. 190 steel isn't a lot of steel though to make off of one crucible. That's pretty, pretty workable. Buy your sugar butts real quick. Oh, I had one. Silly me. 
Get some skull crushers, some rock busters, and some hackers. Not enough inventory space. The bones for now. Hello, wrecked. A level 6 tactical assault rifle. Uh, let me drop a mechanical part in 10 clay and take the assault rifle and the crafting skill magazine bundle. Let's see, two handy land, two medical journal, two electrical traps. I can make a nail gun. Are you selling anything interesting here, wrecked? I don't remember. You got any glue? It doesn't have any glue, that kind of sucks. And of course, now he's selling a level 5 SMG. Love that. Alright, I'll pass on the rest of that. Let's take a job anyway. Hybrid energy? Sure. I'm not going to do it just yet, but good to have it. For that skill point, I am going to... It doesn't really matter. I should really forget an elixir right now. Let me do that. Let me buy that from you, Rekt. If you're selling one, you're usually selling one. Forget an elixir. Nice. Big discount on it, too. Use that. So all my skill points have been reset. Yes, you keep the ones from the tutorial. Let's put my intellect like, back up to 9 plus the inherited glasses. There, so I've got 19 skill points. Obviously, electrocutioner. Probably want to get all the physicians so that we can start 20% chance to dismember with batons and 10% chance to insta-kill. Amazing, obviously. Dating adventure driver I still want. Robotics inventor. Let's do it. Let's just go full five robotics experts. So I can now put down two turrets and my turrets are really, really good. But I don't have the lead to work with that right now. But that's going to be very helpful later on. I know I can already make the accessories, so I will get on that as soon as possible. I have a bunch of junk for that in the motorcycle itself. There we go. Oh, I have 27 duct tape in here. I knew I bought a load of duct tape from Wrecked. I gaslit myself again. Let's see, do I have the things to make the accessories on me? I do. Gyrocopter accessories. That'll take four minutes. Right, now we just need steel. That's, all, that's the only thing holding me back. Steel wheels battery engine and i think i have everything but the steel so let's see you make me another 39 that's me up to 59 there so that's everything i need for the gyrocopter plus without the steel obviously um where's my ratchet there it is need that right so what do i think is the fastest way to get steel here is it going to be a scrapping all the street lights b doing all of the tier two jobs i can and taking the rewards or just waiting for it to be able to craft out of this. I should have all the iron and stuff I need in there. Let me double check for more iron. I think a combination of all of the above is the best choice. Get some beer so I can really scrap properly. You know, my stamina will be good. And let's go. I'll cancel that one job from Trader Wrecked. Tier 4 jobs could technically give me some steel. But it's not a very efficient way of getting it. Tier 3s could also work. And this all does contribute to my tier 4 complete, so it doesn't matter. Let's take these fetches, do them as quickly as humanly possible. That way it's the most efficient it can be. Uh, let's see one thing. To save on gas, he does have mega crushes. I'm going to run there. Because it is only 200 meters and I can move at this speed with mega crush. Probably comparable to the motorcycle, but without it using any gas. Which I will accept. Let's reset that. Where's the thing? It's on the ground floor. Let's see if there's an easy way to smash into it. There's a doorway here. Let's break in. Then the thingy is behind this glass. Any amazing loot in this first room? No, right. Let's run back. 25 forged steel. And I'll take some free pipe bombs. Take another one. Fetch. It's a few hundred meters away. Restart this. It's on the ground floor. Actually, probably just break this door and run in. Way less health. Grab that. And run back to trade erect. Don't you love Mega Crush and how easy it is to get now? Oh no, steel, that's bad luck. Take the secret recipe and the antibiotic. Oh no, I'll take some six too. Any more tier twos? That one's relatively close and I can do it quickly. Still on my first Mega Crush here. That's how quickly you can do this. Here we go. Where's the set? Oh, it's a clear rain. Let's just kill everything then. Ow. That shit hurt. Oh, look how much health I restore from one first aid bandage now. Hexty. You gotta love that. Oh, I forgot I had gotten Max Physician. That is really, really good. I haven't seen any insta-kills, though, or particularly impressive uh, dismemberments. We shall see, though.
Come on, forge steel. Damn it. <laughs> I'll take a spare robotic sledge and some more herbal antibiotics. It's usually much more common than that, but it doesn't have any more tier 2s. So, it now falls to my scrapping abilities and my forge. Let me grab the gyrocopter accessories here. Boom, and they're done. Yeah. Let me put the chassis back up on here. So I need another 100 forge steel. That's not crazy hard to get. You know, it's it's 50 street lights, but I also have the forge helping me out. So there's another 20. I'll go out and gather up another like 30 forge steel from just street lights, I think. Again, I have five minutes of mega crush, so I'm not going to bother with a motorcycle. Oh, hey, a broken vending machine. These also give steel. I mean, it gave like three, but it's something. Right, there's 140 forged steel. I'm gonna run back to my base and see what the oh stamina ran out. And see what the um forge has done and see what it can do with the rest of the iron it's smelted, and then I'll decide how I want to handle the rest of this. Mega Crush just ran out. Oh good, it ran out of fuel. <laughs> Let's give it like another 15 minutes. Uh turn it on. Take that seven forged steel. How much more can you make? Four? Sixteen more, that's not gonna be enough. Give me a moment, I'll put some stuff away. Oh, I wonder if Trader Wreck is selling any steel. I didn't think to check that, hang on. You're not selling forged steel? This is like the only time you haven't sold forged steel. Why are you like this? Oh, both of these are working? That's annoying. Oh wait, you got any Meg Rush? Aha! That should really be enough steel from scrapping. I have to imagine the forge has done the rest for me, so let's go back. Let's see, forge. There we go, I need two more. I'll take 30 seconds. There we go, right. Let's head over to my workbench and craft that up. In the meantime, I'm going to go around and scrap cars for gas, because otherwise the gyrocopter is just not even going to move, which is a bit of an issue. But I have Mega Crush, and I have a spare hackers in here, right? Forgot to grab it. Oh, and it has a spare Mega Crush in here. Good to know. And I had two forged steel in here as well. I am a genius. Anyway, I'm going to go scrap cars and get some gas. There we go. Chassis done. Let's queue up the gyrocopter, and I will go back to scrapping. When my first Mega Crush runs out, I know the gyrocopter is done. Here we go, day 11 gyrocopter, not bad. I have 1500 gas for it, which is 75% of a tank. Let me go put some junk away and then we'll see if we can hunt down a desert biome and mine up some oil shale and then I'll actually be able to make my own gas and I'll stop having to wrench for 10 minutes every time I want to go somewhere. There's three rock busters. Right, let's fly up and see if I can find a desert so that I can mine some stuff. now. I need a bunker buster on my actual thing here, otherwise it's going to take forever to do anything. Because bunker busters actually do affect oil, shale, nitrate, coal, and stone, if you didn't know. So, let's fly up, see if I can hunt down a desert biome. I think it's to the north, if I remember the world generation correctly, but not 100% sure of precisely where to the north. That looks like the top of the map, doesn't it? I don't think that's where the desert is. Maybe the desert was below the wasteland. They have a very similar uh, biome color on the world generation screen, so maybe we want to actually go a little bit more south, and we should have headed west from where I live. There it is, some desert. Looks like there's a trader hue down there. It's good to know at least. I don't have to go particularly deep into the desert here, I just need to find the oil shale and mine up a couple stacks of it. Right, let me get some stamina regen and use the rock busters and let's mine some oil shale here. Oh, it's gonna take forever, but this is what we have to work with. Okay, so I have mined 2400 oil shale, which is enough to make three stacks of gas cans, otherwise known as 15,000 gas. Which is solid. That is about as much gas as I would be able to gather in like a hundred minutes of scrapping. So I will take that. Right, chemistry station. Make me, yeah, 25 minutes worth of gas. I have enough gas to last me a little while, so I don't need to worry about that. So I think the plan for today is just going to be get XP and try and get some better tools so that I can properly enter the end game of 7 Days to Die on day 12. So that'll be nice. <laughs> I will wait for Trader Wreck to open in the meantime. Let's take this tier 4 fetch and clear. Get that started. I don't know what to expect out of this place. Oh, 
algorithm. Treasure map. Save that for when I'm in the wasteland and you actually get decent loot out of it. Tools Digest, nice. Insane difficulty, everybody. I am one shotting everything on day 12. There we go, we can at least make it level 5 iron tools now if I want them. Which I do. Ooh, feral mutated guy. Hi there. Ooh, he's fast as fuck. First aid bandage. Restore 60 health each. That's so good. Uh. Floor is lava. Are we done? Oh, I need to collect the satchel, which is over there, I think. But let's get the loot. Did I even bring lockpicks? I did. Good for me. Actually remembering to do that. Tools Digest, Handy Land. I can make level 1 steel tools, but I'll probably just wait till level 5 before doing that. Wiring. Two tools digests. And some stuff I don't really need, but let's go and grab this. Of course, it's a level 6 steel club on the build where I can't use it. I will take it as something I can put a load of mods on and sell, though. And I guess I'll take a crafting skill magazine bundle while I'm at it. Any other tier 4s? 100 meters away. Ah, uh, GD Witch. Armored up, 2 tools, 2 medical. Very good. Skill point, that's gone right into minor 69er as well. I will wait until the end of the day to see what tools I can craft. Refuel that. And refuel that. I might slowly work on getting enough uh, steel to make a 4x4. Right, let's head inside. I believe in the stun baton. You know, I'm starting to see why they didn't give in to like any kind of a gun. It just does not need it. Me a minor 69er book or whatever it's called. Tools Digest, that's what I meant. <laughs> Honestly, I'm probably gonna bump this up to nightmare speed eventually because it's really just, it makes no difference either way. Step into the radiation. Oh, we need some stamina. That guy's just not dying. There we go. Let's unlock these. Handy land, another treasure map, some explosives, and some useful things. Last medical journal I needed. Those digest again, ammo pile. Yeah, take those. Let's leave and talk to Rekt. Hopefully he'll give me like a steel pickaxe as a reward. I don't even think I have the minor 69er capabilities of using one yet. 
because it would drain so much stamina, but it's worth a shot. Military helmet level 6 and a steel shovel. Steel shovels are useless because iron shovels are better than them, but I don't have an iron shovel, so I will just take the steel one. I will take the clear zombies 150 meters away. Military helmet. I will put that on because I have the urban combat book that speeds me up anyway, so I don't need to worry about the movement speed penalties. And as soon as I find another armor pocket mod, I'll chuck that on there. Let's go do this job. Um, where do I go? Here? I guess it's here. Farming one of the Wasteland Treasure books and a minor book. I think that was a feral I just decapped. Two wiring, nice. I can make sensors now. Halfway done with the wiring thing. And I am not specced into it at all. Well, this doesn't feel very safe. I was correct. We can make steel tools at quality 2 now. Another wiring book. Ah, here we go, valve. <laughs> Blew his hand off and he just died. Oh, free acid. Why are you giving me ammo in meds, game? What's coming up? Oh, the final loot room. With a bunch of guys in it, that would make a lot of sense. You weaken my armor, you shitters. Hi there. Oh, holy shit! First aid kit time. Climb the ladder. Run away. Just keep them following me. Yeah, my first aid kit's gonna restore a billion health right now. Seriously. Every hit is just gonna do that. radiation. Have you got any antibiotics on me? No. As you- no wait, I have honey. As usual though, I have vitamins and I never use the fucking things. What's wrong with my armor? Who's broken? Stop it. Who's still alive? Oh, hello. Another tools digest. Try and unlock this. Although I do think I have time charges on me, so if it doesn't work we'd always do that. You would be thirsty from doing that, take a mega crush. Scrapping for fun, a pistol, some acid, some other stuff. Meh. Not bad. More wiring and electrical traps. Is there anything in that little tower thing where the mutated guy spawns? There's a bag with some water in it. Well, let's go back to Trader Wreck then. Also, didn't I get a skill point at some point in there? I did. Let's go for a rank of mother load. I'll take the slight upgraded ratchet and I'll take the crafting magazine bundle. Let's take that infested clear. Two tactical warfare, two handguns, two shotguns. Let me switch my ratchet over. Right, let's grab the motorcycle and head over to this next job. That'll be pretty much all the tier 4s I can get done today, but the stun baton has helped me just absolutely cut through them. Even on just 60 minute days here, I was able to get 4 done. And I wasn't particularly trying to get them done that quickly, the baton just pops them all that quickly. But I'm sure this will be filled with ferals and radiateds and it'll give me a hard time. It is an infested job after all. Alright, let's get it started and see what happens.
I see a guy standing there. And that's a few ferals. Whoa. Did that guy just like slip and fall? What happened there? I have no idea what's going on. That was a fucking war zone. There's a pig in here. Here's the vulture that spawns in here. They're the problem. Hi there. Oh, I see the vultures there. There's a hidden stash up there, it looks like. A vulture vanished. The other guy fell down. What's in the infested cache today? Eh, some ammo. Can't complain. Uh, stun baton, that. Let's unlock this. Well, time for plan B. We'll digest the hunter thingy and some random junk. <laughs> oh, some learning elixir. Nice. Let's kill this last guy. Well, that was incredibly easy. Um, let me go check the what I think was a hidden stash anyway. How do you? How are you supposed to get to it? Do we jump across? I'm not sure, but let me just frame in. I guess this is how you're supposed to do it. Bipod. And a pipe baton. Let's go get a reward. I'll take some more metal and I'll take a compound bow. And for my reward, I will take a bunch of extra military armor and a hundred concrete blocks. Because why the hell not? Oh, it feels so slow now. Because <laughs> I don't have any points in light armor or any customized fittings. But it doesn't matter because in actual combat, I will get max speed anyway. I have a hundred concrete blocks to play with when I need to use those. Right, well, I'm probably going to leave the episode here, and tomorrow we can continue just powering through this game. Uh, I'll need to do the Day 14 Horde, so I'll probably have to do some base upgrades, but my next priority is definitely getting a load of tools so that I can uh, build a big base for the end game and stuff, like I usually do. That sort of general direction I tend to head towards, but that's probably enough for today. We got a day 11 gyrocopter, a bunch of really good gear, tier 4 complete, I'm military armoured up, I now have 50% armour rating basically. Yeah, intellect is really fucking good. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making these videos possible, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.